So this is the first three verses of the poem, and the, ta- the title which is Talchim. Kun or Lach Koin Ketchit. That's the name of the first one. Akimu Krika Kuin Kain. Eitsid Bik Er Banakten. Konechius Duib Shen Kesen Siehe Enek Halton. The fair of Talchim. Triket Bliadin. For the give. Thiora Bliadna, the Bliadib. The coin Christ, Kostil Rissan, O Ket Enak Etalchi. Talchu Ingen, Magmur Mile, Ben Eka Garb Mak Dek Dial. Tanik Sun Ria Slung Fair Mold, Rekail Kuhn, Ear Rap. Um, I'm sure most of you know uh, this, but <coughs> the, the setting uh, for the Notre Dame is directly after the first battle of Maitura. And now Maitura has most people know there are two much ones. Uh, one near Kong in South Nail, near the Cold Border, and the other near Loch Arrow in Slider, and I think the first battle is held in the southern Loch Chula. And um, the the Tula the Dan defeated the Bird Bullet. Uh, there were two contesting tribes in Ireland at the time. Now, two of the Danon, the Hebrew called Danu, the goddess Danu, the Danain, it's a, it's a, it's not sure if you can it through that, so there may be a connection there. Um, there is a connection between the poem and the Greeks. Um, and as far as I know, uh, Danu, was a pan European goddess. And, uh, I'm open to correction on this, but I think rivers like the Den are named after her. So, without further ado, after the battle, which the Parabolic lost, uh, the Tudu the of the Den enslaved uh, many of the Parabolic, including Tauchin, the Queen. O nobles of the land of comely Khan, hearken a while for a blessing, till I tell you the legend of the elders of the ordering of Hausu Spare. Three hundred years and three it comes, from the first fair of Taoshu to the birth of Christ, hearken. Taoshu, daughter of gentle Magmore, wife of Pukugarg, Son of Dewey Dal, came hither leading the fair bullock host to Kyle Fluid after high battle. Kyle Kuhn, it was a thicket of trees from Esker to Abram. On the great bog, a long journey from the sailor to the A Ashuida. Ashuida, the seat of the hound. With her gathered the red coated deer. When was the bugle first sounded east of the wood? The second time on the edge of Clocker. Kamur, Karila, Krik, Minda, Art, Manai, where the spears used to be. The hounds of Tartha killed their quarry on the land of Tipper Mungai. 
great that deed that was done with the axes held by Tauchu, the reclaiming of Netherland and the evening wood by Tauchu, Dog of Matmor. When the fair wood was cut down by her roots and all out of the ground, before the year's end it became red mud, it became a plain blossoming in flower. Her heart burst in her body from the strain beneath her royal <coughs> breast. Not wholesome, truly, is a face like cold for the sake of woods of bright of timber. Long was the sorrow, long the weariness of Talchu, in sickness after heavy toil. The men of the island of Erin, to whom she was in bondage, came to receive her last behest. She told them in her sickness, feeble she was, but not speechless, that they should hold funeral games to lament her, zealous the dead. About the calends of August she died on a Monday, on the Lunasa of Blue. Round her grave from that Monday forth is held this chief there of noble Aaron. White sided Chalchu uttered in her land a true prophecy that so long as every prince should accept her, Aaron should not be without a song. A fair with gold, with silver, with games, with music, of chariots, with adornment of body, and with adornment of body and of soul by means of knowledge and eloquence. A fair without wounding or robbing of any man, without trouble, without dispute, without reading, without challenge of property, without suing, without law sessions, without the repudiation, without arrest. A fair without sin, without fraud, without reproach, without insult, without contention, without seizure, without theft, without redemption. No man going into the seats of the women, nor woman into the seats of the men. Shining fair, with each in due order, by rank in his place in the high place. Unbroken truce of the fair, the whole, the wild through Aaron and Alba alike. Alba to Unbroken truce of the fair, the wild through Aaron and Alba alike. While men went in and came out without any rude hostility. Corn and milk in every stead. Uh, peace and fair weather for its sake were granted to the heathen tribe of the Greeks for maintaining the justice. From the lamentation for Tauchu of the sailor to the reign of Lyra MacNeil was held the, the fairy and From the lamentation of Joshua of the Sailor to the reign of Lyra of Nail was held the fairy host at fair every single year by the pure bullock who were there and by the two of the done, by the children of Mil thereafter down to Patrick after the first coming of the faith. Said Patrick, victorious was the proud law of nature Though it was not made in obedience to God, the Lord was magnifying it. Sir Patrick came after Christ was held up there of Tauchu. That subdues curses. Many a dead man and his mate bewailed 
in the graveyard of the wealthy field claiming a tomb with one door for a man of art, a tomb with two doors for a woman, graves without doors over lads and maidens, records from pillars over graves, death with arms, bearing of candles to watch the dead, mounds over, over noble farms, and walls built over the dead of great friends. Forever endures the walls of Talshu, where numbers of women were buried, and that wall that hides many dead, but the full God was buried. On the wall of the Hu, compact of stones, twenty seats of the kings of Tar. And on the smooth wall of his wife, twenty seats of their queens. A royal chamber for a mighty monster to the left of the kings of Tar, the three parts of Khan, not straightened, upon the seats of the men over the open knot the warriors of Leinster land of renown between them and the province of Ulster let us name them to the right hand side Aaron that belonged to her king in fee the Ulster men before the faith of the cross who came with their chariots to the first games the Leinster men before the men of Munster and Connacht in well remembered order the stone of rock the stone of Gar, the stone of the sick men, the leper stone beside the seats, the rocks of counting, the wheel of Balclan, the pillar of Colman, the cairn of Colman. Forbidden for Talshu is a Forbidden to ride through it without alighting. Forbidden when leaving it for a, a meal to look. Forbidden when leaving it for a meal to look at it over the left shoulder. Is a bit a fair green with three marbles it possessed. A man without a head walking about it. The son of a boy of seven years held on a finger the fall of the priest from the air. The three heinous spoils Patrick for Davin, stealing of oxen in the yoke, slaughter of milk cows, burning of empty fire. No pristine, pristine tradition, he called. Pat Patrick preached, so it is a judgment, that none who did such things should ever find peace, so long as Tachu shall stand forever, so long as its royal wrath endures. The eastern wrath, the wrath of the evil west, the wrath of Lovett, the wrath of Lot, the wrath of Lord, the wrath of Poon, the wrath of Khan Tail, the wrath of the seed of Tide, the triple rampart of Tanshu. The triple rampart of Tanshu, famed beyond all lands, the spot where the kings used to fast with laymen, with clerics, with hundreds of headmen, that no disease might visit the land of Aaron. In the triple rampart of Tanshu, about tears, Jesus granted to Machir to take away the three plagues from Aaron. It is not unknown. Tanshu was a sanctuary for the flock, God gave friends to guard it. Patrick, Bridget, White Deacon, Mucker, Hetman, Adam Long. 
Let us speak of what came after the establishment of the faith in the Trinity, the triple bands of Talshan, the companies who go to make trial of the warrior's fair green. Men of the doom, first division, men between two dooms, after them, men behind the dooms, to gratify the truce. Those are the three <coughs> beginnings. Patrick, when every king invoke, whom every king invokes after traversing Talshu thrice, Makar, peering at the car from night high, these are the three guarant homes. Five hundred fairs turn about, that is, certain with uncertain, from the fair of Patrick of Maka to the black fair of Donata. Two score of kings held the fair by four kings it was dedicated. All the noble line of kings was sprung from Nile, except Ali alone. One king from Lyra descended, one king from the race of Khatri. Nine princes of the seed of the noble A, seven princes of the family of Homer. Sixteen kings out of Lyra sprung from Om, Rat the Fair, and ten kings. These came from the territory of Kunga, or nobles. Four score years, this is true. All but one year, Paltru lay deserted. Alas, how long? And the, and the green of form without the chariot. Until there came the serried array of kings, comely, bearded, grandson, and the son who drinks the heavy mead of the daughter of the king who watered the fair. The king of Chara, chosen thrice, male shotgun of secure Schlemmer, like the river Euphrates, rises on high the one champion of Europe. The glory, the, the glory of the noble west of the world to my aid. A new karma of Kuhn, offspring of Dawn, son of Donaka, comes hither to the princely seat. He brought the cornfields of the gale out of danger. He brought Aaron out of shipwreck. He raised the fair of Tauchu from the sun. Though of ancestral use, it was unknown. Too little he counts it, for what he has given us of good, little what he has given us of corn, of milk, of malt, what of treasure, of little, of beauty, what of gold, of silver. Too little he thinks it, all that contrives for our crop, too little all the fish, the honey, the mead, too little that we, that we hold. And the corn rick is root, a fair for every tribe. Too little he thinks we enjoy the enduring world. Too little he thinks of to make each of us a king. Too little each full crown that follows him when he has brought us to the fair of Tashu. He desires though our life here should be long before, before going otherwhere that he should bring us into the house of God after achieving his design. Christ be with Neil Shakti of the Saviors. Christ with him against misfortune, against tribulation. Christ with him to protect and prosper him against war, against battle. Kings that have attended our meeting ought not to shun us. Kings that have not attended our meeting ought not to shun us. Near Luther, Flamerta, Flam, A, Hatton, Donathan, Donny. Who will look upon us? Who will look upon us? Who will give wishes to you, O youths of the noble fair? Thus I greet you after a lucky strain, so long as there be observances of the fair or not.
Um, I'd just like to make one more comment on that. It's, um, was it Constantine, uh, yeah, it was Constantine who, who ended the games of Jerusalem. But here in this text we see, according to the monks who were down there, we see the capture, despite the fact that it was a pagan, of pagan origin, which we uh, encouraged it. was encouraged to, to have a bit of this thing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Um, so thank you very much. I'm one of these native Irish speakers. I've got a lot of mention here tonight. I'd like to add, add my compensation for the help. And uh, uh, my father transferred <coughs> to Cantal, where I live, in 1937, which was the day And uh, so we placed the living here. We have some of the remains that were mentioned here tonight. We mentioned the Tipper Raw. So we have the only Tipper Raw here with us. <laughs> <laughs> Or any time you'd like to visit it. Oh, very good. <laughs> it's not, um, it's not a uh, hundred percent, of course. It's, uh, but the triple ramparts can be identified quite easily. The other raw, uh, the other end, uh, it's known as the raw uh, the eastern fold. At the other end, we have the one that's uh, uh, the other raw. Uh, uh, on the impacted rod is known as the rod of in the local language and uh, um, if it's there that uh, the Queen Tashi lived and was buried other remains of course are places like um, um, the Powell area at the Paul Vega, nothing else. And uh, the Paul Mo. Um, <coughs> there's a farmer up the road there, the Mullins then, and they have uh, there's some lovely divisions of uh, land in Cheshire. And one of the fields is known as uh, the Lagamani. Anglicised the Laganani. Uh, came from the Gaelic, of course, Loganaimic, the dip of the fail. There are no other buildings or anything like that, but uh, if you ever like to visit in the summer time, I'm sure we could arrange a little historic walk for you to see these ancient remains. Uh, the other thing I wanted to mention was um, one of these poems that have gone back uh, thousands of years, but in the 15th or 16th century, <coughs> we had a, uh, a poet came from, not Karen Maroth, but uh, Karenstown, um, Liam Kalikirnan. I suppose you all know Jaxi Kiernan and Kelly. Yes. But some Jaxi is an Adam yet. So Liam could be his great, 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 great grandfather. And uh, the poem that I have forgotten is called Telta Namrat, Telta of the Flags. I know that I can recall the first two lines, which says, A Telta Namrat, or Telta of the Flags. The Hinta is the Loch, the ponds and the lakes. The Hinta falls top regal. Surely you are of the stock of kings. That's all I can recall. But we could always look it up. Liam McKillick here now. And something else to say. Crappies. The Crappies. The yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, the marriage. 
the marriage of Jack and Bill. Ah, but I don't want to wait for the fucking story. Yeah. <laughs> 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 marriage is under the carpet. <laughs> 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 um, something else. Something else. Something else. Something else. Something else. However, um, if you ever want to forget anything, I will stand up in public. <laughs> Yeah. 